Hey guys, oh man, really excited to be with you today. This is uh, Pastor John. Uh, this is our 5 Before podcast and we're doing something a little bit different today. Really had on my heart um, as I was praying last night. But it's been a lot of time in prayer, which is always a good thing. So no matter how bad it gets, um, man, it's just beautiful to see how it's pushing some of us. And I'm actually going to talk a little bit about that on Sunday about what the people of God, how we respond in moments of messes and crisis and um, something very interesting that Paul tells us in the book of Romans about that, but it pushes us kind of towards him in close proximity. And um, it's really exciting to just be hearing from God during this season. I don't, I don't know another way to say that really. I hope, um, I hope that makes sense to you guys that are listening, that if, if you're out there and, and you're afraid or you're worried or there's anxiety, I, I just want to tell you that there's something really cool about being able to hear the voice of God in moments of crisis, in moments of messes, in moments of fear and doubt. And that's really something I'm really excited about right now. I can't explain it um, other than to tell you that there's just something that's like stirring in my, my heart and my spirit that's... Um, just got me excited. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I've been listening, you know, in my prayer times to kind of what I feel like the Holy Spirit is leading. And so last night I text the guys, I had, I had a different scripture I was going to share for the five before today, but I shifted it to this because we're talking about fear this week. And in one story about fear, I'm not going to tell the whole story because I'm actually feeling my spirit to speak on it next Sunday now. Um, there's this story where the disciples are afraid in a boat and they're fearful and uh, fear is kind of overwhelming them. They even use the word, I'm afraid, is what they tell Jesus. And um, Jesus speaks peace in that moment. And so kind of letting us know that really the opposite of fear is peace. Uh, that's, that's something that he gives us. And it says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 14, this is what it says. It says, above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom. And then he goes on to say this, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father th through him. And so what I thought today is that we would just make this five before practical today. And wherever you may be, you might be at work or home, um, maybe you're at the grocery store and you're doing this. I, would, I think it'd be awesome if you just broke out in song in the grocery store. That would be awesome. Is, is we're going we're gonna to do what Paul told the church in Colossians here. We're going to do that so that we can just invite the peace of Christ, the peace of God, to just take away our fear. I mean, I just, I just feel in my heart that this is going to be a moment that for some of you, um, you're, you, you had fear when you logged in, you had fear when you tuned in, and now all of a sudden that fear is going to, um, it's going to just go away because what we're going to do is we're going to do what the Scripture tells us to do. We're going to <clears throat> sing. We're going to give thanks. We're going to celebrate we're going to give praise. We're going to make God bigger than our fear. We're going to make God bigger than what we're going through uh, right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pray and we're going to sing together. And listen, if you're watching live right now, click that share button so that we can get as many people praising and worshiping God right now as we can, because that will dispel the fear and it will invite in peace. The closer I am to Jesus, the closer I am to peace. That's what I know. And so let's get close to him. Let's invite his presence wherever we may be today. Um, I just invite you to do that this morning, uh, right where you are. So Father, 
we invite you right now to just rest with us, rest on us. You say that you inhabit the praises of your people. And so we're going to worship you right now. You told the woman at the well that you actually seek worshipers. So right now, if we feel alone, if we feel separated from you, like we talked about yesterday, that that when we come to you and we're near to you, God, that, that fear can't, it can't be near you. It can't exist there. So if you're seeking worshipers, then the best thing that we can do right now to dispel fear is to worship because that draws you near. That, that creates an opportunity where we're not seeking you. You're actually seeking us. And so we invite you right now to do that to seek us out today and that your presence would seek us out this this morning to dispel any fear, anxiety, worry, stress, and that you would just bring your peace this morning. In Jesus' name, amen.
There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Come on, sing that again. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. And oh. love of God and oh it chases me down fights till I'm found leaves a 99 oh I couldn't earn it and I don't deserve it still you give yourself away and oh the overwhelming never any reckless love of God yeah oh we feel your love all around us God oh right where we're at we can feel your love surround us come on see that again and oh the overwhelming God, and oh, it chases me down, it fights till I'm found, leaves a night, and I, and I couldn't earn, and I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away, and oh, the overwhelm, never ending, reckless Love of God. Come on, right where you're at right now. Let's, as we sing this next song, this is Build My Life. May that be your prayer today that you build your life on a firm foundation that won't be easily shaken, that won't fall today. Come on, He's worthy of every breath that you breathe today. He's worthy of every song that you sing. Come on, feel feel His presence where you're at right now. Come on, He's worthy. He's good. We love you, Jesus. Oh, 
Jesus And worthy of every song we could ever sing And worthy of all the praise we could ever bring And worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you say the name in Jesus the name above every other name in Jesus the only one who could ever say oh and worthy of every breath we could ever bring we live for you oh we live for you oh and holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes and one. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. And hold Beside you, open up my eyes in one. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. But I love you, Jesus. Oh, we build our lives on you today. Oh, there's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you, God. And I will build my life upon your love. And lead me into 
love to those around me and I will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation and I will put my trust in you alone and I will not be shaken we will not be shaken God oh we will not be shaken God, we just um, we just take just a moment today, and we shift our heart from a place of fear to a place of worship, because you're seeking worshipers. Fear will continue to isolate us, but God, worship makes you seek us. So we thank you today, God, that, that you're still seeking. And God, we just um, we just pray that throughout this day that you would shift our mindset and our heartbeat, shift it back to worship, shift it back to singing songs of thanksgiving, shift it back to just being a heart of, of being thankful in general. God, shift it back to you. And God, those that feel alone right now, I, I know, I, or those, let me, let me rephrase, Father, those that felt alone, I know now, feel something completely different. They feel that their Father in heaven, the creator of the universe, the King of kings and the Lord of lords is actually seeking them. So right now, God, we just pray, God, that you would, um, God, that you would just let us remain in this attitude and in this posture of worship today. And we just invite your presence to just remain with us, to rest with us for the remainder of this day. We just pray it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining with us today and um, man a lot of you guys were engaged in this and I just want you to continue if you need to go back if you don't if you don't feel comfortable doing it alone just replay the video today over and over and over um, you can continue to comment below we've asked for prayer requests and we were praying as um, as uh, we had uh, Eddie and I over there um, just interceding for those needs and we'll continue to do that if you'll just continue to be faithful and send those in um, but just because we're not continuing live today, um, we're going into some uh, kids stuff in just a few minutes. Um, so we're going to shift into some kids uh, ministry opportunity. Um, and uh, we just ask that you continue to stay in this posture, continue to stay in this attitude of worship and um, continue sharing this. Because I'm telling you, there are people all around you that have no idea that they can worship God right where they are. And they have no idea that the presence of God can actually come in to where they are in their workplace in their car wherever and he can move and so help us get this around we're going to continue to do this with you um yeah, this is not going to be the only day that we do this we're going to continue this um so that you can have this to lean on and to 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 be a part of it with us that's what we want you to do so man we love you guys thank you for joining us get back to work before you get in trouble uh we don't want you to lose your job but you can work and worship that's what we should call this now i guess work and worship um you can work and worship at the same time so just keep doing it today man we love you guys thank you for joining us uh we'll see you again tomorrow <laughs>